Hi everybody, I'm Colleen from MTC. I wanted to take a moment to share a really cool book with you today and a special craft that we can make together based on the book. Uh, this book is called Elmer. It's by David McGee. And I'm going to tell you uh, the list of things we need to make this cool craft before we get started on the book. So um, first of all, you're going to need a paper plate and you can have a parent help you cut out eyes or you could attempt it yourself. Um, a construction paper for the ears. I like to fold it in half so they're equal sizes. Um, you're going to need cut square tissue paper in a rainbow of colors or um, construction paper in all sorts of colors cut in little squares. Uh, empty roll of paper towel. Popsicle stick. Tape. Glue. And a pen or pencil just to draw the ears. So those are what you need if you want to take a moment to pause before we get into the book. All right, let's get started. Elmer by David McGee. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old. Elephants tall and short, fat and thin. All were different, but all were happy and almost all were the same color. All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color, he was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other elephants. Good morning, Elmer, they said. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant co colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until the berries fell on the ground. Give that bush a big shake. Then Elmer lay down and rolled over on the berries this way and that. He picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. I hope it doesn't get frozen again. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. Elmer looked just like any other elephant. On the way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the other elephants noticed him. As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle, same old blue sky, same old rain cloud, same old elephants. The other elephants were standing absolutely still silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk, lifted his trunk, and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! The other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the other elephants began to laugh. Too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh! Elmer, gasped an elephant as Elmer was washed back to normal. 
You've played some good jokes, but this has to be the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another, the day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third, and Elmer will decorate himself in elephant color. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white and have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade who is ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. <laughs> the end. Did you like the book? Are you ready to make a craft? Who's ready to make a mask? Do you have all the things that we need, the items? All right, let's get started. So first thing, you take your paper plate, and if you haven't already, cut eyes out of them or get a parent to help you because it's really tricky. Mm -hmm. um, next thing I like to do is take the popsicle stick and your glue, and you're going to glue um, the top of the popsicle stick and put it right on the edge, the bottom edge of the mask. And once that's dry, I put tape behind it too, just to secure it. You can see right here, there's tape on the back. Don't want that to fall off. Next, I take this sheet of paper, which I've folded a construction. Doesn't matter what color, it could be anything, so you're gonna cover it up with the, the square colors. So then I drew a kidney bean shape to become the elephant ears. And then you're gonna cut it out with scissors it out. Once you have the ears cut out, you have your paper towel roll and you have your plate. Once you have all three of these things, you can start the really fun part. You can put glue all over everything and take individual little colorful bits and pieces of different paper, rainbow assortment of colors, and you can begin to, let me angle this so you can see, you can begin to place them down all over your materials over your ears, over the trunk, which is this big paper towel roll. You're going to completely cover it with glue and put square color patches all over. Um, it's so much fun. This is like a good project and it takes some concentration and imagination and some fun. So once you've covered the um, mask part, the paper plate, you can actually at any point take your ear and um, glue it right, let me actually cut this out right here. You're gonna glue the ear mm -hmm. to the bottom portion of the upper plate. You do that on each side. There we go. Take my elephant ear, put some glue on it. just like this right there and do the same on the other side and then you can get to paper mache all of your pieces on now once you have finished gluing all your paper squares to the ears and the mask and the trunk what you can do is take the trunk smoosh it right at the top make a nice little fold and then you're going to Stick it, put glue on the bottom part here, then stick it to the mask. And what I did was put tape all over the top and the sides too, because you don't want the big trunk to fall off. So once you have done all of that, you're gonna end up with your very own original, colorful Elmer mask, just like this. Hope you enjoyed the craft. I hope you have an awesome day and thank you for joining me at MTC from home. Thank you.